Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain about what are workflow rules. So for the people who are unaware of what is a workflow rule, it's uh, one of the simple automation tool which we use in Salesforce and uh, it offers time saving solutions. Let's say it will minimize the manual work and then convert it into the automations for optimizing various business processes. So here, let's see a simple workflow rule example. I'm thinking to create a workflow rule whenever the lead status is open, not contacted. If the lead status is that one, I wanna set number of employees to 50 automatically, not doing manually for each record. How do we achieve that? We will see here. Uh, from the setup, you can go and type in workflow rules. So from here, click a new rule. Object, step one is selecting the object. I'm going to do for the lead object. So select lead. Click next and the second step would be you need to select a rule name and also evaluation criteria. So rule name, I'm keeping something random as I want this to be triggered whenever a certain criteria is met. So we have three options over here. Evaluate this workflow rule whenever a record is created in the system or created and every time it's edited or last option is created whenever the record is created and any time it's edited to subsequently meet criteria. So I will choose the third one because I have some criteria which needs to be met in order to perform that action. I'm saying whenever the lead status is open, not contacted. So select the field over here from this drop down. You can select as status, search for it. All right, for our example, let's take another scenario. Uh, I can't find status over here. Okay, here, lead status, whenever it's equals to look up, select that status value, open, not contacted, insert, click save and next. I want to make another field update. So I want to update number of employees field. I'm selecting workflow action in the third step as field update. Yes, number of employees. Field to update number of employees. Select that. Okay, click next. I want to set number of employees as 40. Let's say use formula to set a new value. I'm setting as a 40. Save. You can click done. And then please do remember to activate your workflow rule before you leave. So I'm activating my rule. Let's test the scenario. Simple workflow rule, which just executes one action in our case. So let's say this is a record already open. Now I'm changing the lead status according to our workflow rule, whenever it is open, not contacted. See, as you see, number of employees here is empty. If our workflow rule run, 
I mean, currently, according to uh, what we have configured, if the lead status is open, not contacted, it should pop up 40 in the number of employees field as process of our automation. Click save. Okay, let's check. Okay, it worked. Here you see number of employees popped up as 40. So this is how a simple field update can happen using a workflow rule. Yep, hope you enjoyed this video.